in my opinion, the best hiking day pack you can buy, the REI Flash 22. I'm going to show you a little bit about it and then show you its replacement. First of all, I've had this pack for a couple of years now, used it on extensively in different hikes um, in the desert, in the mountains, uh, in the woods, in the canyons, um, hiked the Grand Canyon with it, uh, extensive hikes in the desert with it. It seems to fit every situation that I've been in. I've used lots of different packs over the last 30 years. This one seems to be the most useful in the most situations. So if you're going to buy any pack for day hiking, I would suggest this pack. Um, first of all, it has the mesh side pockets, so you can put water bottles on both sides. And then it also has the compartment for the bladder, like a camelback. So you can just buy a, a platypus and put it in there. It has the lid on the front. That's the big difference between the Flash 18 and the Flash 22. The Flash 22 is a little bit bigger and has the lid. And if you unbuckle the lid, uh, first of all, the lid has the zipper pocket and it has a little attachment for your keys. So you can attach your keys and off you go. I usually put some snacks in there in the top. And then if you need to get into the main compartment of the pack, you just pull on this tab and it opens right up. You can get into the main compartment. The main compartment has the, the uh, sleeve for the bladder and that has a little pocket here for miscellaneous. It has another tab in there for keys and I usually put a multi-tool and a lighter in there just for safekeeping. Um, I would suggest getting something like the Platypus uh, 3 liter. Um, big zip. Um, you know, the, the reason I get the 3 liter is because you can fill it up with 1 liter or you can put 2 liters in it or you can put 3 liters in it. I hike in the desert a lot, so sometimes I need 3 liters of water in the desert. Uh, it's just super easy to disconnect the hose from the platypus. You just press this button and the hose comes right off. And then you just disconnect the little tab that holds it in place there. And then you can rinse it out and put more water in it. And I just keep the hose connected through the little um, port portage there that leads right to the shoulder strap. Um, like I said, the inside is um, got plenty of room for a jacket. Um, it has, I usually bring along toiletries and first aid kit. Um, just all around, it's been a really good pack. Um, the shoulder straps are thin, but with the backpack this size, you don't really need any bigger shoulder straps than this. Um, the webbing is good webbing. It's lasted a long time. It's got the little whistle on the front there. I've taken off the, um, wi the waist belt on it because you really don't need a waist belt on a pack this size. It's not going to be getting you off balance or anything because you can't really fill it with that much weight anyway. So unless you're carrying rocks or something, you don't need the waist belt. So just take off the waist belt. That saves weight. And um, there is a little removable um, foam pad in the back here. You can take it out from inside if you don't want that. I always keep it in there to keep, provide a little bit of structure and then it just provides kind of a barrier between the heat of my back and my water, the water bladder that's in the backpack. Okay, so that's the old REI 20, uh, Flash 22. Let me show you the new one. Uh, this just came, I just picked it up at the store. I would suggest if you're buying stuff at REI, pick it up at the store. That way you don't have to pay for shipping. Uh, so this is the replacement. This is the new Flash 22 from my REI. And it, as you can see, it looks pretty much the same. Uh, the big difference that I see are these stretchy mesh pockets on the side for your water bottles. So it holds your water bottle a little bit tighter. And of course, this material is going to be a little bit lighter as well. So that's an added improvement. Uh, the buckle system is a little bit different um, with these um, strings here, but it works pretty much the same. You have the same, the lid pocket, and <clears throat> I guess you don't have the, the keychain. Yeah, I guess there's no keychain um, connection there. But it has this additional side pocket here. So instead of the pocket being on the inside of the bag, it's on the outside, that second pocket. So you have two outside pockets in just the main compartment. The way to open it is a little bit different. You just pull this tab 
We have the same water bottle sleeve, and like I said, no other pockets in there. Um, there's a few little, maybe gear pockets right there on the outside of the uh, water bottle sleeve, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. It seems to me like this material down here at the bottom, whatever material they've used, is a little bit um, tougher than the other one. So it seems like this bottom will last a little bit longer. And of course, I will probably take off the hip belt. Um, the straps look almost exactly the same, um, just a little bit different design. Looks like they've saved some weight on that. And then the same buckle with the whistle. Um, but yeah, they've taken off the webbing on the front, the, the gear attachment um, that used to be on here, which I don't mind because I never used. But in my opinion, this is actually an improvement on the old Flash 22, which would make this, um, if it works out, um, the best day pack you could buy, in my opinion. So if you're looking for a day pack, um, I don't work for REI or anything. Um, just from experience, this is going to be one of the most useful day packs you can buy. If you like this uh, gear review and you'd like to see more, please subscribe to this channel and like this video. We'll see you guys later.